Hello and welcome back to another Eat Smart Nutrition lesson where today we're going to take a look at a healthy treat option. I know a lot of us out there have sweet tooths, myself included, so we need to find some products out there that can help satisfy our sweet tooth yet still provide some nutritional value and not make us feel so guilty and bad about eating a dessert or treat that we lose focus and jump off the bandwagon and just eat whatever. So there are products out there and we're going to look at a company today called Kashi who for the most part provide a nice line of products that are very nutritionally dense and can keep your body healthy. And we're going to look at a product line that they make called TLC cookies. Yes, these cookies are what I consider to be a much healthier alternative than some of the other junk that sit on grocery store shelves and can actually provide you with a little nutritional value. So let's take a look at those right now. All right, we're going to first take a look at their Happy Trail Mix variety. And we have to find out what we're dealing with, which is one cookie for 140 calories. All right, first thing we have to do is look at that. Then we can come down through here and look at some of the other facts. Only five grams of total fat, one of which is saturated fat. That's pretty good. No grams of trans fat as it says here, but remember we can't trust that until we consult the ingredients list to make sure there's no hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated oils there. So we'll take a look in a little more detail to confirm that. No milligrams of cholesterol, only 75 milligrams of sodium, pretty good for a big cookie like this. There's 21 grams of total carbohydrate, four of which is dietary fiber. Seems too good to be true, doesn't it? So we must come over here and make sure that there's no fake fibers getting added when we take a look at this. Only 8 grams of sugar. Again, pretty good. Hopefully there's no artificial sweeteners or things like that in there. We'll confirm. 2 grams of protein, and virtually there's no vitamin or mineral qualities there. So what the heck is in this thing that's making this cookie not so bad to consume uh, as part of your treat options? Well, the very first ingredient we have to pay attention to, and that is ruled grain blend, which is just a, a variety of a, of a bunch of different things such as oats, hard wheat, rye, barley, is what's combined there that they're calling that ruled grain blend. Second ingredient is Kashi's 7 whole grain flour. Again, look at the ingredients. They're all whole oats, red wheat again, rye, brown rice, barley, buckwheat, and so on and so forth. Again, that second ingredient, pretty much all whole products, which is why that this thing is so high in fiber. Now, if we come down here and start looking at some of the other ingredients, look at the oil that's being used. How often do you see products using things like olive oil or canola oil? Remember, you're too healthy polymonounsaturated oils that will help improve your internal health. Very few products use canola oil or olive oil, and here's a rare example of a product using something that's a little healthier and not so high in those omega-6 fats. Then we come down here and we start to see some of the things now that it's getting sweetened with, such as honey. Evaporated cane juice crystals is just a fancy way of saying sugar. Then you have some Dried fruits there, the raisins provide a little bit of sweetness. Again, here's some brown rice syrup. Um, come down here, there's cranberries. That's providing some sweetness. Evaporated cane juice syrup. Again, another fancy word of saying uh, some added sugars there. So, you know, there are some added sugars, which is where this 8 grams of sugar is coming from. But they're found way down the ingredients list here, and they're not too bad. Only 8 grams of sugar for a cookie is pretty reasonable, and why that makes these cookies a superior your choice. So what about that fiber? Well, let's look here to see where that fiber is coming from. But remember, okay, these things up here, this ruled grain blend and this Kashi 7 whole grain flour is where you're going to get the majority of these four grams of fiber here. But then if you scan a little bit lower, you'll see things like oat fiber. That's not fake fiber. And I believe there was chicory root fiber in there as well. Again, that's more of a natural source of fiber, and that's not fake stuff. So you're getting an actual 4 grams of dietary fiber here that could help promote internal health in a good way. So that, that with for all those reasons just mentioned is why this cookie is a great choice. Now, there's another product out there that's more of a dessert uh, chocolate lover style called the oatmeal dark chocolate. 
And if we take a look at some of the facts here, again, one cookie for 130 calories, about the same amount of fat, a little more saturated, still not bad. That's going to uh, be a result of what's used to make some of those chocolate chips. So that's why the saturated fat's a little bit higher. Again, no grams of, of trans fat. And if you look over here, there's no hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated oils, only 65 milligrams of sodium. That's fantastic. Again, there's four grams of fiber, the same sugars as the other cookie, still two grams of protein and really no uh, uh, vitamin or mineral qualities there. But if we come back over here then and look at that ingredients list in a little more detail, the same ingredient is at the top of the list there. All right, whole parts, providing you with a lot of fiber. And then you can notice that the second ingredient is that dark chocolate chips. All right, and that's where you're running into a little more saturated fat and things like that because of that cocoa butter that's there. But again, if we look here at the fats, expeller pressed canola oil, healthy polyunsaturated fat oil, all right, not high in omega-6 fats, a little higher in omega-3s, that's a great thing, and then you have your Kashi 7 whole grain flour, and again, it's being sweetened by some of the same things that we saw in the other cookies, such as the honey, there's the evaporated cane juice crystals, remember that sugar, there's your brown rice syrup, and um, some of those other things there. So, Again, there's some oat fiber, chicory root fiber, which provides some of the fiber here that you're seeing, but the majority of it is coming from some of this up here. Now, to conclude this lesson, let's assume that you want to have a snack three and you want to make this healthy. Well, let's pretend that we combined one of the Kashi cookies, this is the chocolate chip, with a whole cup of skim milk. And if we come over here and we look at this nutrition facts panel, if we can combine those two, we're dealing with one cookie and one cup of skim milk for just 220 calories. This is what I would consider an ideal range for a lot of you for a snack three option. I would say to stay somewhere between, you know, 150 to 250 calories or so, depending on your calorie budget. But this is a very controlled way to treat yourself, but still get some nutritional value for a dessert only getting five grams of total fat, one and a half which is of saturated fat is really good and very hard to do unless you have a really healthy dessert-like item such as these cookies to provide such limited amounts of that. Only 190 milligrams of sodium. The majority of that is the natural sodium that you find in milk. 33 grams of carbohydrate, four of which is that fiber again all coming from the cookie and then you're getting a little extra sugar but the majority of that is coming from the natural sugars in the milk the lactose just like you get the natural sodium 10 grams of protein that's really really good for a dessert and then if you look down here at the vitamin and mineral qualities 30 percent we know that we need to erase that percent at a zero to know that there's 300 milligrams of calcium all of those milligrams coming from the milk of course and you combine the and you have made yourself an optimal health snack that you can eat to treat yourself, to satisfy that sweet tooth, yet still give your body some nutritional qualities and value. So I would suggest that for those of you who have a sweet tooth, go ahead and have this every now and then. There's nothing wrong with it, and it will actually help you meet some of your nutritional values that you need to hit each day. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.